Xiomara. David, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How Fine, thank you, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Tell me, how was your day? Did you have a good day today? Well, it's very tired again. Last yesterday, but it's okay. <laughs> it's the life. Your life very tiring every day, right? Yes, but only only this uh, this month. Ah, why only this month? Because I, because I am in the temporada. Season? I had season making batutas for the fifth uh, September fifteenth. Oh, okay. That's right because it's coming up, right? You have to get everything ready. Yes. So mm -hmm. and make medals and and crowns for las reinas de los colegios. Is very common in many, many schools. It's many schools, that's how they make yeah. their money. They get extra money like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Um, we're going to begin with our stories. If you remember, we had many stories that we were going to talk about. Um, we had from um La Sigonava, El Cipitillo, Cinderella, the Snow White, Goldilocks, all of the different ones. You remember? I remember Ivan was going to be number one. I think. Yes, Ivan, you were going to be the first to present, correct? Good evening, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. I have the layer in the Siguanava. That's right, the Siguanava, right? I don't remember if it was Cadejo or Siguanava, but okay, Ivan. When you are ready, please begin. Right, right now? Yes, please. Okay. Ivan? A short layer. Here I am. Here, here, here I am. Yes, remember, no reading, Ivan. Give, no reading. No reading, only speaking. Wow, I, I, I saw the teacher, I could memorize the laying. No, no, you don't have to memorize. Explain in your own words. Explain okay. your own vocabulary. Don't worry. Uh, the laying of the no seven hour. Mm -hmm. the, say, says that she is a woman with long and beautiful hair who appears in rivers and sidewalks and lonely, lonely places. Uh, it appears to drunk drunkards, to infidels, infidels, and those who walk at night to their home. With her beautiful, she deceives men, and when she has them close, she transforms into a horrible woman with long knives, with uh, and big teeth, and, and scares them with uh, her horrible face. And she runs over screaming on the rivers on full moon. Okay, Ivan. Moonlight, moon moonlight, shining. Guy asking for her song. Thank you very much, Ivan. Very okay. good. I'm I'm glad that you're you look for the story. I'm glad you look for the vocabulary. Nice word. It's good that you're using new vocabulary like sidewalk and other words. That's very good. The most important, Ivan, is to practice improving your fluency. Because that that's the number one. The important is that fluency. Okay. I got it, teacher. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Ivan. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. Ivan, please select the next person for their presentation. The next? Yes, who is the next person in their presentation? Uh, I can hear uh, David. 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 Okay, excellent. David. I can hear David. All right, let's listen to David.
Teacher, um, excuse me for a while, please. Just okay. a moment. Okay, David. Okay. No problem. No problem, David. I imagine. And then, then Daniel, Daniel. And then. Where are you, Daniel? No, Danny. No, Danny. Daniel, Daniel. No, but it's no. okay. We have Xiomara. Xiomara is ready. No problem. Xiomara can do it. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, uh, um, I'm going to talk about the fairy tale of Rapunzel. This is a classic fairy tale. It tells about a uh, a baby. Uh, the story of a young uh, baby who teaches the courage and ecstasy to escape from a uh, old selfish woman who wanted to wanted her for a uh, to be young eternally. The the baby, uh, Rampunzel. Uh, had um, a long, a golden long hair. Um, it was a very healing. Uh, she heals uh, every person who was sick with he, with her hair, and that uh, for that reason the old woman, the selfish woman, wanted to uh, for her. To, to live forever. Uh, the woman was a uh, young because. Um, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Siomara. Okay. okay. All right. It's good job. Okay. I'm glad that you're trying to get it. We have to focus a little bit more. Uh, we have to focus on our pauses. There's a lot of, they're called buffer words, a lot of eh, eh, mm, it. Mm. This is we need to eliminate from our vocabulary because if not, it's going to be very difficult for us to get better at speaking. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. I, thank you. David, are you ready now? Yes. Okay, David. All right. Let's do it, David. Okay. I will try it. Okay. Okay. My story, my story is the ugly duckling. A little, uh, a little duckling was a very sad because he thought that he was very ugly. Uh, the ugliest of the all the duckies. And all the brothers and sisters get funny because he was very ugly. Poor ugly duckling. One day he saw uh, his reflection in the river. And he uh, became to cry because he said, nobody likes me. I'm so ugly. And then he decided to go to the forest. And the forest, he was crying all the time. The winters come and the past go, go on. Then one day uh, in the spring, he saw... A beautiful. Thank uh, you. We appreciate it. Very nice. <laughs> Almost there, David. Getting better. That's not yeah. bad, David. Almost where you were. You were starting to get a good flow, good energy. Very nice in changing the intonation. That way, you feel the excitement. Very good. We're just gonna continue working on that fluency. All right, David. Okay. Who is next? Okay, I select. I think Hector. Hector looks like he wants to participate. He has the big smile on his face, and Hector's like, me. Oh, okay, I love it. All right, Hector, you ready? Yes, teacher, good evening. <clears throat> I cried because I don't hear yesterday with you, but I can uh, invent the, the story. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, in the beginning, the the sky was the sky was black, and the sea is 
was very, <clears throat> very, very long. In the there, there are many bears in the in the sea, but don't doesn't have didn't have um, a earth, but uh, one day uh, some some one thing uh, he is very scared and he put the in order some uh, everything in the <clears throat> in he called the 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 word and he thank you very much thank you very much all right good job okay the most important is to work on the pauses when you are speaking you have too many pauses in between we're going to try to get a little bit better i understand because you are trying to create in the moment is more difficult but thank you hector who would like who would you like to see next carla flor gisela Flor, Carla, ah, ok, Carla, ok, no problem, Hector. No se te escucha, pero yo, yo me imagino que eso dijiste. All right, Carla, Alicia, all right, Carla. Good evening, <clears throat> my story is um, the Goldilocks and Three Birds. Mm. Once upon a time, um, at the edge of the forest, live a gold hair. A girl called Goldilocks, and she was uh, sweet and a little playful. She uh, one morning she go she went into a forest and saw a house. Uh, when she locked on the door, the open uh, the door open. And she entered and saw three plates of food. Uh, uh, large, one large, one medium, and one small. She ate the little plate. And soon, uh, three birds came at the house. And uh, Goldilocks uh, go scared. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carla. I appreciate it. Yes, good idea. I'm glad that you look for the vocabulary. You're using the different words, the story for it, good pronunciation, but the fluency, we need to work on that. That's the number one area. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Who's next, Carla? The other Carla, Giselle or Flor? Flor. Flor, all right, Flor. Okay, my story is the little red riding hood. It was a little girl that lived with her grand with her mother, and someday the mother told her that her, the granny was very sick, and then uh, the little red riding hood decided to go. Uh, the mother prepared her for the granny uh, a weight with bread and some cookies, but on the way, while the little red riding hood was walking. Uh, she find the wolf and he asked her if where where do you go and and she told him that eh, I'm going to where my granny house and the wolf hurry up and again and arrive before her and he ate the granny and also when the little red riding who arrived to the house, the walls got dressed with the the clothes of the granny in the little That's red riding who asked. Thank you very much, Flor. Very good. Flor, you started off very good. At the beginning, very fluent, no pauses, nothing. Great. But little by little, then you had more pauses and more pause. But it's a good job. Very nice, Flor. Thank you very much. Flor, who is next? We have Gisela and we have the other Carla. 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 Okay. Yes. Carla. 
Carla Elena, no Carla Alicia. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, my story is about oh, my story is about mermaid. Mermaid is a a girl who is called Ariel, and um, she lives into the ocean with her father Kintriton, and she uh, she she really liked to keep lost objects from Cyprus and um, she wished she was a human. And at mid history, um, while she was swimming in the sea, she, she saw a, a ship and she saw a handsome prince and she fell in love with him. Uh, then uh, she, at the, at the end of the story, she- Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Carla, in your case, we have to work a little bit more on the long sounds. You start to have like she, and you make it a little bit longer. So we're gonna help focus on that to make sure that you get better fluency. Okay. okay, thank you, Carla. Carla, would you like to listen to Gisela, Ada, Nelly, or Gabriel? Ada. Ada, okay, let's listen to Ada. Ada. Okay, maybe Ada is having a little bit of difficulty. Okay. We'll see if she can connect in a moment. In that case, then we'll continue with Gisela. Gisela, are you ready? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my story is the Cadejos, white and black. <laughs> Uh, the legend of the Cadejo is very popular in the El Salvador. This legend comes from the times of our Indian, Indian, Indian ancestors who believed that dogs help humans on, on their way to the afterlife when they died, when the Spanish people and Christianity arrived in our land, the legend was modified to show the difference between good and bad. The, the legend Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Giselle, good job trying. I'm glad that you investigated and tried to look for some of the words. We're going to focus a little bit on the pronunciation and the fluency. Those are the two areas. Normally, with the new vocabulary, is difficult at the beginning, but good effort. Okay, Gisela, would you like to listen to Nelly or to Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel, huh? They love Nelly. The last, the last. Okay. Gabriel, are you ready with your story? Hi, teacher. Eh, eh, quiero, eh. Este el día de ayer no no escuché que quieras mencionarnos sobre esa tarea o, o algo así. No sé si me da un chance para hacerla en este momento. Sí, ahorita es. Ahorita te lo vas a inventar. Don't worry, Gabriel. You have one minute and you create a story. It can be any story in English. Don't worry. Como no estuviste ayer, puedes repetir una. Lo importante es que puedes hablar en inglés. You ready, Gabriel? Y, y, sí, ya, yes, teacher. Eh, la historia, no importa de qué tipo sea. No. 
Quiero ver. Los tres cerditos, eh, Cinderella, Snow White, uh -huh. Goldilocks, uh -huh. <laughs> Reta Chillona, lo que vos querás. All right, Gabriel. Ok, teacher. Entonces, uh -huh. sobre, la, sobre la carreta chillona. Ok, carreta chillona. Sí, carreta chillona is un um, bad spirit. Is bad spirit and what what the night? Ah, no sé cómo hacer. <laughs> okay, don't worry, Gabriel. Don't worry. Okay, we're going to focus on vocabulary, right? This is the most important for you, vocabulary, to be able to express yourself. Okay. You practice. Al, al, tranquilo, Gabriel. Al final de la clase te voy a dar otra oportunidad. Antes que terminemos, te voy a dar chance de hacerlo nuevamente. Okay, Gabriel? Just teacher, gracias. De nada. Ahora está la mejor presentación de todos. Prepárense. Aquí viene Nelly. All right, Nelly. Yo ya puse, ya hoy ya no sé qué vas a hacer, Nelly. Hoy ya, ya dije, ok. Oh, my God. Well, once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, they decided to, to leave their mommy and daddy and go to the forest or the other places to know the a new life. So, Whatever they get, uh, whatever they got, everybody uh, give, gave them the welcome and they were happy everywhere that they got. But all the animals around there, around them, they were preparing, they were preparing for the winter and they, didn't know how to build a house. Suddenly, the first said, oh, I will I will build my house for with a straw hat. Thank you very much, Nelly. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Good job, good intonation, Nelly, that's good. It's like when you are a mother and you tell the stories, very nice. Only we're gonna push on that fluency, okay? Okay. Great, excellent guys. Um, Don't worry, Gab you're going to listen to Gabriel's story at the end. Um, Right now we're gonna go ahead and continue. Amazing job. We are continuing with our class in the platform in 2.5 today. We are finishing the yesterday's topic was storytelling. That was the last. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in Spanish, please. Okay. Estoy teniendo problemas con la plataforma. Llevo tres días que no puedo, o sea, desde que empezamos, no puedo ingresar. Ya pedí ayuda en el chat eh, mm. a través del correo y no puedo ingresar. Entonces, no sé cómo hacer porque ya probé todas las formas solicitando mi contraseña nuevamente, pero no me reenvían ningún correo ni nada. Uh -huh. No sé cómo hacer. Ok. Ahorita pregunto nuevamente. Ayer lo puse y me dijeron que le estará apoyando, pero ya lo voy a preguntar ahorita. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahorita le escribo al, a ellos. One moment, Nelly. Este es. Ok. Ok, Nelly. Ya les escribí, les di tu número de contacto para que se pusieran en contacto contigo. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody else? Mm 
No. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Yesterday we finished the topic of storytelling. Today with the presentation of storytelling. Now we're going to continue with the lesson. Um, Gisela, sorry, uh, Nelly, can you please read the instructions? What are we going to do? The objective? In this class, participants will listen and practice a conversation where people are catching up on news. Pay attention. Wait. To the use of present perfect continue in context. Okay, so now it's going to be about the news, right? So let's pay attention a little bit about news. Here we have Cuatro Vision, but in English. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. Let's take a look. Here we go. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina! I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please. Okay. First, let's take a look at the news. What is happening in these people's lives? First, let's practice the conversation. Okay. Um, I need two people. One to be Peter and one to be Gina. Who would like to be Peter? Me. Okay. Pete. And who's going to be Gina? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's practice Pete and Gina. Go ahead. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing, nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I have only been spending money. I'm pushing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. I have, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Great. Any vocabulary, any words you don't know? It's okay, all. It's okay, all? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let's take a look then and make sure that we understand. Now, let's listen to Gina, okay? Let's listen to the rest of the conversation. What are they talking about? Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, 
I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay. So, let's take a look. One more time, or is that okay? It's okay. Okay. Tell me, what's, what has she been up to lately? They met. What are the two people talking about? Well, one is buying a house, mm -hmm. and she, uh, she went to Italy. Mm -hmm. And what happened in Italy? She visit. She visit to to her cousin, and se comprometió. She get engaged. Okay. Good. And she got. She got. She got engaged. Yeah, she got engaged. She's going to get married, right? And he was a little bit surprised. Mm -hmm. Super easy. So that's the idea. The idea is when you catch up with somebody, when you tell them, oh, something new. This is the idea of using the present perfect. Um, we're going to help you a little bit to make sure that you understand what is the present perfect. The idea of present perfect is how. Okay, for example, I have been, I have gone. This is the idea for present perfect. Why do we use it? We use it to talk about experiences, things that you did, not specific the time, only the activities that you did. It's okay, the, the explanation? No. Yes. What? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a utilizar? I have, I have been. Is have, not necessarily been, only have, and then the verb in the past participle. So as an example, I have gone to Italy. I have visited many people. I have, or she has seen. This is the idea that we're going to practice. We're going to do two activities to help us understand a little bit better. Please remember to open them. Um, it's in the chat. Or if somebody is on their cell phone and they can send to the group, that is great also. There is the first link. And here is the second link. This is to help us practice and understand a little bit with have. Always is have or has and the past participle. So I have eaten, I have gone, I have visited the different activities. Okay. Do you have the two links? Yes, we are ready. Okay. We have the two links. Please open because if not, then they're going to disappear when you make the groups. And we're going to practice. You have 10 minutes to complete both exercises.
Ana, are you still having problems connecting? Haven't played tennis because it's only the word here played. We haven't played, we haven't played we tennis. Haven't played. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay. I have, I have lost my keys or uh, yes. yes. Okay. Who has a Already gone. Who has got, who has he met? Who was a, who? Uh -huh. Who has he met recently? Who has he met recently? <coughs> okay. Who has he met? Who has conocido ella recientemente? Who has he met? Okay. Why? Why haven't Why? you? Called? Yes. Okay. 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 Paul, Paul, an accident. Um, has had an accident. Right. Has had an accident. Yes. Okay, my sister yes. has already gone. Uh, yes. Has already gone. Has already gone to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. She that book jet. She hasn't she read. Have... Right? They have gone. Yeah. Pero ahí es... Why? Ese creo que es el último. Why haven't you called me? Ah, es el último, sí. Eh, lo del siguiente sería Paul has had, has had an accident. El primero. El segundo, perdón. My sister has um, no sería have to be no. My sister or has had an accident. Okay, que lo estoy viendo al día. Paul has had an accident. My sister has already gone to bed. She uh -huh. hasn't read the book yet. Uh, they have walked for a long time. Uh, where have you been? Yes. Me imagino que por la equivocación, por eso nos pusieron el 97%. Sí, sí, es cierto. No. El otro sí. link sí no lo pude abrir. Sí, sí lo veo. No lo copié. Sí lo veo. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp también. Sí, este, este en WhatsApp. Um, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. And this moment. Uh, it, I had the first one. It, I think it's another answer. It has rained a lot. Yes. You can't, we can't repeat. They, and you made it. No. They have, 
No, pero yo creo que ya están. Sí, están buenos. Yes. Very good. The second exercise. No sé si le va a tomar captura de pantalla o se la pasa. Yes. Debe ser más pequeño. Thank you. The second one? Nice. Sí. Yes. Why? Wait a few seconds for question to load or refresh. <laughs> Let me see the, the question. Why have you eat the little C? Ate, ate, uh -huh. uh, uh, uh. No, no. Have you no, eaten the little D? Why have you eaten some of that rice today? They, they have forgotten the meeting time. They haven't for, yes, forgotten. Mom has never. Mom has never driven. Driving. You. You haven't bought. Bought the train tickets. What do you think in this one? He has not driven. He has not read. Huh? Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now we understand the present perfect a little bit better. Okay. Remember, the function is for experience, what you did, okay? Not when, only the things in the life, okay? I have and always the verb in the past participle. Gone, seen, even, visited, like this. Now we're going to see the second present perfect. In the second present perfect is present perfect continuous. Okay? The first was present perfect. Okay? Now we're going to look at present perfect Continuous. This is going to be the idea so that we understand. Okay. Let's try to look. Here we have one more time. Now the difference is here we're going to have the verbs with ing. In the verb with the present perfect continuous is the same idea, but you continue to do it. Okay. So what is the difference? In one, you did the activity. For example, I have graduated from the university. I have graduated from school. Finish. When? Last year, five years ago, whatever. Okay, this is the first. But in the second is I have been. This is continue today. For example, I have been studying English. I have been working in my company. This is the idea for continuous 
it's okay the difference yes teacher yes okay so let's take a look tell me something that you have been doing next mm -hmm. something that you have been doing for example me i have been working at english corporativo nelly what have you been doing i have been practicing my english correct that is correct is is not correct i have practiced my english because nelly continues this is going to be the difference in one finish in the other continue It's okay. Who else? Another example? I have been, I have been. Please repeat. I have been check the car. So, so, I have been checking the car. I have been checking the car. Correct. I have been checking the car. Mm -hmm. Mean, so teacher, this means please give me the example mm -hmm. i have been making the pizza correct you continue to make pizza this is the idea okay. i have been i have been working with the same schedule from 15 days ago okay very from, good from 10 to 6 from 10 to 6 ha difficult yes Okay, now let's watch a video that's going to help us understand a little bit more my explanation, okay? This was 2.7, present perfect continuous. Here we have a small video to help us understand more. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous of repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Okay. First, let's make sure that you understand. It's clear the idea how to use it? Any questions or a little confusion? Teacher, yes, the present perfect continue we use when the action is continue. Yes. You begin in the past and continue today. 
This is present perfect continuous. So example, me, I have been living in El Salvador. I start in the past and continue today. If Hector, if I say I lived in El Salvador is in the past, but now not live in El Salvador. This is the difference. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. Not the chat is clear. Okay. Now we're going to practice two links the same. We're going to practice what is correct, the present perfect or the present perfect continuous. That way we make sure that we understand clearly. You have two links. Mm -hmm. Remember, open the links or copy the links. That way they don't disappear. Are you ready? Uh, can you send us a WhatsApp? Uh, I'm not in WhatsApp, but I think um, if I saw somebody sent in WhatsApp, who was it? Um, is I think it was David. David, can you do me the favor and send in WhatsApp? Are you on the WhatsApp, David? Yes, right now. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, Ivan. David is going to help us. I'm on the computer and I forgot to open the WhatsApp. Thank you, David. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. So now let's practice with our partners to see if we understand the difference. She has letter, letters all morning. The literal A answer is reading. No, 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 se ve, no, se ve. Yo no, puedo. Ay, no, 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 Sí, entiendo. Sí, se empieza a ver. Eh, sí, no. Uy, pero ya lo quitaste. <risa> sí, es que como no cargaba, por eso lo quito. Uh -huh. eh, pero sí. Pantalla. Ok. Ahora sí. Ah, eres... No, yo lo tengo abierto en mi celular, pero 
quizás así nos okay. vamos a ir. Porque no, yo no puedo compartirlo vale. ahí, no tengo cómo. Yo traté, pero no se pudo. Matt, the first question is, she it has letters of money. The answer is written. Have we... I think it's been having. Yeah. I yeah. Your voice. Your voice sounds strange. Have you drunk him? Yes. Sí. Mm -hmm. I've I've been trying to sí. call her all morning. Sí, en la mañana. I've tried. Mm -hmm. sí. How long have you been waiting? Been waiting. Okay, so don't worry, we're going to practice more on Monday, but it's for us to understand a little bit the difference and to practice present perfect and present perfect continuous. On Monday, we're going to continue and work in the platform to finish unit two. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Any questions? Algo que no les quedó claro de esta clase o de esta semana. Por oh. mi parte estamos bien, dice, solo falta practicar un poquito, pero eso lo arreglamos en estos días de descanso. Perfecto. Antes de irse, quiero que escuchen una increíble presentación que se han estado preparando por una hora. Este es Gabriela Hernández. Listo para que todos escuchen su voz en inglés y una presentación. Wow. Gabriel, are you ready? Okay, teacher. ¿Creíste que se Go me olvidó? Ahead, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> sí, creí que se le había olvidado. Para nada. <laughs> okay. Eh, mi historia es sobre la carreta chillona. Ticare chillona is about the spirit tycoons. Old and nice, according to what my grandfather said, this bad spirit has nothing to pull the car and it make a lot of noise when passing through the steep. The elves also say the water sees indirectly has a body age and white temperature. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Solo fue 30 segundos, pero it's okay. We're going to try to get better. More, more vocabulary and more fluency. But thank you, Gabriel. Así empezamos. Excellent. <laughs> Everybody, have a great weekend. We complete the unit two on Monday. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Happy weekend, everyone. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.